Good morning, guys. Just checked out of my house till I got dropped off here by the bridge again and waiting for a boat to take me to Nusa Penida. And as you can tell, I'm so burned. Like, my shoulders, press, especially my forehead. Not fun. I might just wait until the sun is a little less strong to actually go out in Nusa Penida when I get there. I have my own uh, room for like $9, so it's not bad. Considering here I paid like $12 for a four person room, which wasn't bad. But Nusa Penida is a lot less touristy, so I guess we have some cheaper options. Hey! Hi! How's it going? Welcome! Thank you! <laughs> Just arrived in Nusa Penida yeah. and now I'm gonna get a ride to my house which is about 10 kilometers away. Are we so done the map? do that now. Huh? This car dropped off here. Got dragonfly. Bed and breakfast. So, couldn't really f uh, vlog on the way here because I was holding on to the bike. Okay, I can't quite find the reception. Maybe it's because I might have arrived too early for check-in. So maybe the, the reception staff or staff isn't here yet okay I guess check-in isn't until 2 p.m. and it's not even 12 p.m. it's like a quarter to 12 so I might have to wait around until then but since there's not Wi-Fi and there's barely any cell phone service here I'm gonna try to find a restaurant with some Wi-Fi just get an early lunch and just wait around there in some nice shade with some Wi-Fi okay so I was just walking and well, this lady asked me where I'm going. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna find a restaurant because I need some Wi-Fi in my hostel. Uh, you know, they're not open yet. And she's like, oh, Dragonfly, that's mine. So I guess they're gonna set me up here so I can check in. So that worked out. So check it out, I get like a little bungalow. Not bad. Yeah, so a nice little hut. Cool. All right, gonna head out now. It is really hot, it's burning hot, especially because I'm already burnt. But, gotta make the most of today. This island's actually way too big to explore in one day, so I'm only gonna explore around the east side, but that has some of the places that I really wanna see. So, it just means I'll have to come back one day. Like I said, I'm gonna come back to Bali. Definitely need more time to explore all of Bali and the surrounding islands. Here we go, it gets a bit steeper here. I'm actually holding the GoPro in the same hand, it's strapped to my wrist. See? <laughs> I'll probably put that in the vlog too. <laughs> All right, here we go. because I need to put on more sunscreen. I feel like I'm already getting more burnt, so yeah. But the, the views have been pretty cool so far. Still got a long ways to go to get to even the first stop, but taking my time, these roads are bumpy and I'm not like an expert at riding these things, so better to be careful, better to be safe than sorry. At least I'm on one of these things finally. Wish I had done it before, but you know, never better late than ever. By the way, the, the petrol that I paid for was 10,000 for just one liter, so not much. Also, it doesn't fill up the tank, it's only like a quarter tank maybe, but that's less than a dollar, so can't really complain. Okay, check out this view so far. Ok, 
Okay, here comes the hard and steep part. I'm gonna try to take it really easy on this one. Just hope it doesn't rain. It's a bit cloudy right now, or else I'm screwed. <laughs> Okay, it's starting to rain and the road is pretty crazy so I'm gonna get off the bike and walk down. Maybe just wait out the rain because my bike's just gonna get wet right now. Okay, a slight change of plans. The rain's really picking up so luckily there's this little you know rain cover right here, this little spot. And I have my scooter right there. I put my umbrella on the seat and hopefully the rain stops soon, but still I'm not looking forward to going back up that hill. I'm glad I didn't go down this final hill because that is steep. Even walking down, I'd want to be careful. So yeah, and let's see how long this lasts. Tropical rains tend to not last too long. And I still see some sunlight over there. So I'm hopeful that it won't last too long and it won't be too much rain. We'll see. Okay, it's raining pretty light right now, so I'm gonna attempt to go down there. If it picks up, maybe I'll come back up. I mean, either way, the seat's gonna get a bit wet, so it is what it is. I'm this far, I can't go back this time. <laughs> Just not on the scooter going down there. Going up there will be enough of a challenge, but let's go down. Well, now we got some stairs. Those shouldn't be as slippery in theory. We hear the ocean, so it must be close because there's nothing more after that besides more ocean. <laughs> Did I say the first spot is Tembeling Beach and Forest? Because as the sign shows, that's it, <laughs> obviously. Okay, now it decided to start raining on me and it's pretty heavy this time. We'll see how long this lasts. The things I do for the vlog. <laughs> Whoa, check that out. That's cool. If this place wasn't so damn beautiful, I would probably have completely regretted coming down here. <laughs> This exact spot anyway. Hopefully the rain doesn't last too long. I see blue skies in, in certain parts. So we'll see. That is just jaw-droppingly gorgeous. It's beautiful. But now I'm gonna leave before the rain picks up too much again and before the tide moves up too much. Let's go to the next thing. Okay, but actually real quick, this little cave, check out the other side. Crazy view, wow. Okay, back through the cave and out we go. So I left the helmet right here and I thought I was taking a chance on that by leaving it there. But guess what I also did? Yeah, I left the keys right there. <laughs> Luckily, the bike's still there. No one's really coming here right now. I'm the only crazy one enough to right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back up this road. I'm not gonna vlog it because I wanna concentrate on Getting up safely without falling, so I survived, but man, it took one hell of an effort to get that bike up the hill. Like, there was parts where I just had to get off the bike and push while using the gas a little bit. I just walk it with my feet and it was slippery gravel, it was, it was crazy. But I made it, didn't fall, at least I haven't fallen yet, but that was probably the most likely part to fall in. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be the craziest part today. Uh, and now I'm heading out, I'm heading to uh, Kilinking Beach which is the place that I've been looking forward to seeing the most here in Nusa Penida or in the, in the Nusa Islands in general. So, let's go. Alright, 
we're getting close, but check out this view. Just about here. My current GoPro battery died, so I'm gonna replace it afterwards, but we're almost here, so just check this out. All right, I'm here, just parked, and I can't wait to show you guys. Well, this will be a few weeks delayed, but when you see it, I think you're gonna like it, just like I'm about to. Watch. Wow, I have no words. That is just unbelievably beautiful. That water, saying the beach, those cliffs. Wow. There's actually some steps, I'm gonna go down some of them. Steps are crazy. <laughs> wow. How about this cliff over here? <laughs> Ridiculous. Insanely beautiful. It's a long way down. There's actually people down there on the beach. I'm not sure if they climbed the steps all the way down. I think they did. That's crazy. I'm not gonna do that. I'm too hungry. And I don't wanna deal with climbing down and all the way back up. I'm gonna climb down a little further to get some more views, some more good shots, some more angles. But that's it. This is one of those places that I just can't stop taking pictures of. Like, there are not enough angles to capture the beauty of this to share it with the world. <laughs> best way to experience is to come and see it, but I'm doing my best to share how awesome it is. I think you get the picture. This is what I've done so far on the stairs. And there's a lot more to go. But I think I'm gonna stop here, go back up, get some lunch. I haven't eaten lunch. It's like five o'clock almost. So my time is getting limited. I have another place that I wanna see and then I have to get all the way back to the other, to the north part of the island where my hostel, where my better breakfast is. And hopefully it doesn't rain again because I'm hearing the thunder over there. So yeah, this has been amazing. Just here, Killing King Beach. Just ran into another vlogger. This is Luis from Spain. From Spain, How's it killing going? it all over the world. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, awesome. We are in the very best place here in Nusa Penida. No doubt. Yeah, this is beautiful. Meeting insane people, traveling, wow. enjoying the world. Exactly, that's what it's all about. Awesome. I'm gonna stop here for lunch, right by the beach, because I'm really hungry. Being here in the Nusa Islands definitely feels like stepping back in time to what Bali used to be like, maybe like 15 years ago. So if you want a really, like a truly authentic experience, less touristy, come to the Nusa Islands, especially Nusa Penida, because it's like the most unexplored and it's the biggest one of the three. And I mean, just look at the roads. They're like, not quite what the Bali roads are like. So it's an adventure for sure. And obviously there's some really, really amazing beauty. So totally worth it if you're up for the adventure. Okay, so just finished lunch at almost 6 p.m. Speaking of the time, unfortunately the activities I've done so far have taken me a lot longer than I expected. The roads are crazy, so I've been taking my time just trying not to get in an accident. Don't want that. So, since sunset is coming pretty soon, it's gonna get dark pretty soon. And to get back to the hostel, it's gonna take at least an hour. So, I'm gonna have to end it here as far as sightseeing. And so, I'm just gonna ride back and hopefully the storm doesn't catch me because I keep hearing that thunder and it's coming soon. So, I'm gonna try to beat that, try to beat the storm and get back to the bed and breakfast. What's 
up guys? <laughs> I made it back to the hostel and I am so happy to be back. You have no idea. That was just the craziest, one of the craziest things that, that I've had to go through. It started raining, obviously, and I didn't have a poncho, so, and obviously with directions, like I couldn't really be pulling out my phone because it was raining quite a bit, so I was just, just making stop, asking people uh, for directions and took a couple wrong turns, but obviously I made it back. But the worst thing was that as soon as it started getting dark, I wanted to turn the turn on the headlight but I realized that it didn't work so yeah needless to say that was the one of the scariest things that I've had to go through like it got darker and darker and only the blinkers worked so I just had one of the blinkers on the whole time and anytime any vehicle got close by like on the other lane when I saw their lights I would just like like use the horn like five or ten times just to make sure that they knew I was there and yeah and like I couldn't see that far ahead of me, even with I me mean, with the blinker, it was like almost no visibility anyway. So now that I'm back in the one piece, then I'm, I'm, you know, today was a great day as far as what I got to see. Weather could have been obviously nicer, um, but really cool to have seen those things. I would recommend probably at least three days, maybe four days in Nusa Penida if you're, if you're going to come here. Definitely need to take your time. It's a big island deceptively big like Bali is like enormous so obviously you need a few weeks for that maybe a month but for Nusa Penida you need like at least three days and Nusa Lumbangan at least two days and Senegan another two days I didn't even get to it in Nusa Senegan so but definitely I recommend coming to the Nusas and lay down for a bit and then head out on a walk to somewhere where I can get food nearby I'm not gonna take the bike I'm done with riding the bike for now. <laughs> Just getting some comfort food. I need that after that bike ride. Got some pepperoni pizza and some beer. Look at this little guy. Look at those eyes. It's hard not to give him food. <laughs> Alright, back at the hostel now. It's tomorrow. I'm leaving at 7.30. I'm taking a ferry at 7.30 to head back to Bali. So see you guys next time. Good night.